Hello, if you're working on unsupervised learning in machine learning, probably you know this issue when you need to guess how many clusters correspond to your dataset the best. Often, it becomes time-consuming and tricky part of early development stage of your machine learning project. With this video, I will demonstrate how to automate reveal what is the optimal number of cluster for clustering by using k-means algorithm. It is not an elbow method as you probably think. It is SilkWet score. What SilkWet score does? SilkWet's value is a measure of how similar object is to own cluster compared to other clusters. The SilkWet range from minus one to plus one, where a high value indicates that the object is well matched to its own cluster and poorly matched to neighborhood clusters. If most objects have a high value, then the clustering configuration is appropriate. If many points have a low or negative value, then the clustering configuration may have too many or too few clusters. So, let's have coding now. First of all, as always, import models and packages for the implementation. NumPy for numerical calculation, Pandas for structuring and low data, Secretlearn for unsupervised learning, Matplotlib for visualization. As always, import data by using pandas. Look into data. We will make clustering by two features here. Let's plot this data right here. Apparently, we can see that data is distributed in separate group, but we still do not know what is the optimal number of cluster is. We have prepared the data to k-means. Let's select the subset of data to be clustered. Transform this data into NumPy array with this command. Look at this do deed array. We see that the data is transformed correctly. Before implementation SilkWet score technique, let's check what elbow method give us firstly. This is a standard procedure to calculate elbow distance. You can find the code in most of GITs. So, let's plot the elbow distance for the data. Manually, after several time-consuming experiments, I decided that the optimal number of clusters is 5. Nice, but what result provides is SilkWet score that can automate this task. Let's check it out. A more precise approach than elbow method is to use the SilkWet score, which is the mean of SilkWet coefficient over all instances. Here are some formulas, but for this video I will not deep into this. To be sure it's working, let's print the average SilkWet score simulating the situation that the maximum number of cluster is, let's say, 10. Create a list of hypothetical scenarios for different number of clusters. What is SilkWet score in these conditions of different number of clusters? Here are the calculated scores for different number of clusters. That is the core of this technique. Now is the time to plot the results. Looking good. And SilkWet score technique made the job well. We can see that the optimal number of clusters for our data is 5. We can automate that algorithm will take index of clusters that has the maximum value of score. That's it. We can print it in notebook. And finally, plot the given clusters on our data with the simple plotting procedure. Five clusters given from SilkWet score fit the data good. We can be sure by seeing this plot. As we can see, this visualization is much richer than the previous one. In particular, also it compares that 5 is very good choice, but it also underlines that the fact that 6 is quite good as well. Some bonus at the end. An even more informative visualization is given when you plot every instance SilkWet's coefficient, sorted by the cluster they are assigned to any by the value of the coefficient. This is called SilkWet diagram. Let's take a look. With this diagram, you can see how distribute your cluster size in different scenarios having different number of clusters. Thank you for watching this tutorial. Please subscribe to get more videos like this one in future and enjoy coding your machine learning and see you on the next video. Bye-bye.